Welcome back. Shares of Uber are actually on track for their biggest drop in months. They're down almost 7 percent, despite the company posting its first ever profitable quarter on a gap basis. And one area seeing a lot of new growth, advertising. Deirdre Bosa digs into that in today's <laughs> Tech Check. Deirdre? Uh, Kelly, first, let me address what's happening with its stock, because in the pre-market right after those results, it was actually higher, but now it is down by nearly 7%. There could be a few reasons for this. Yes, profitability has driven this stock ever since it's been public. It got it to that nearly $100 billion market cap, but its profitability is a little bit cloudy. I talked about this earlier um, on CNBC, but I, I pointed to Uber's equity stakes in other companies. So that swings profitability for the company and says that maybe it's not always about the fundamentals. That could be one reason. Another reason could be that slowing top line growth. This is sort of a mature utility versus a disruptive company that it once was. Um, but again, that profitability is net what investors have appreciated. And part of that could be its push into advertising. First, have a listen to what Dara Khosr Shahi said earlier this morning about advertising being one of the biggest growth areas for the company. Advertising is going to be the biggest growth area for us because we have a huge audience, over 130 million uh, audience coming at us on a monthly basis onto the platform. This is a high-end audience. They're very engaged with our platform. They're going places. And what we're seeing in advertising is $650 million now of run rate revenue. So we don't know whether its advertising push is profitable, but it is a typically higher margin business, which could, again, boost that profitability, Kelly. Um, but it's always a little bit complicated with Uber. I mean, even when it's on the right trajectory, things like regulatory issues kind of rear their heads. So it's a little few steps forward, one step back sometimes. And maybe that's what we're seeing right now. Could also be profit taking. This is a stock that's up about 100 percent year to date. I think that's an important part of this uh, for sure. I mean, if it were down three, four percent, you think it's probably more of that. This one looks, you know, maybe they're a little bit more worried or maybe just this idea of going to take a, a while longer to be in the S&P, going to take a little while longer to have kind of sustainable yeah. gap earnings, you know, just a little bit of a delay, that sort of thing. Sustainable is the key here, right? And I think Darbar Khosr Shahi, as CEO, has done a good job in moving towards better unit economics. But I guess sort of the key is they want to get to gap net income. They want it to be sort of clean, clear. They've already got more than a billion dollars in free cash flow, so that's positive. But if you are a bull and you're looking to Uber's possible inclusion in the S&P 500, you have to remember that the company has to show trailing 12 months of gap net income. And then it's those equity stakes and companies like Aurora, Lime, Didi, Grab that could complicate that path. Again, um, Uber's profitability has always been a little cloudy or complicated, um, but certainly they're making, making progress towards it. All right. I think the shares are about a dollar above that IPO price. Deirdre, thank you very much. We appreciate it. Our Deirdre Bosa.